In today's video, I built a little deck I like to call Halawi Rally. The idea is to use tentacles to copy the new Hallowed buff onto a Lowey, giving us two times the value. And once the opponent blocks, we rally, doing it all over again and getting four times the value we would normally get from Hallowed. Make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoy this video, as well as subscribe. And if you want to hang out with me when I record my next Visionary Decks video, click the button in the top right corner of your screen and follow my Twitch channel. Ken and Yasuo. Don't know why you would run this with Demacia, but I guess we're about to find out. Let's make sure we have Hallowed and Tentacles in hand. These are both good cards, but not great for early game. Let's see if we can find some more early game cards. And we should be good. I'll keep C's voice and strike up the band just so we have like some decent early game. And there we go. That's a that's what I'm talking about. That's a much more balanced hand. Very nice. Now, if we're attacking on turn three, we could play strike up the band now and do C's voice next turn for a pretty good attack. Do we save this for later? I don't think we do. Do we? Maybe we do. I'll save it for later. Sure. Why not? I'll just summon a really thick tentacle, probably. Maybe I'll do that next turn. I'll do that next turn. I'll play this now. I will attack. If he wants to trade his cannon, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm getting value by getting a tentacle on board. Nice. Uh, sure, dude. Dude, look how they massacred my boy. What is this? Summon a one-cost ally from your deck? Why would you ever run this? Um, it's gonna be strike up the band this turn, 100%, 100%, and then probably a Lowey. Maybe we'll grow our tentacle next turn. He's probably gonna, okay, nopify. Interesting. I'd rather him nopify. I don't know actually. I did. I didn't really want him to nopify that. <laughs> that was pretty bad for us. I was gonna say he's probably gonna mark tentacle. It makes the most sense. Because he can stun it in the future. I'm going to play a Lowey here. And he shouldn't be able to attack with either Kennen. Because he'll just die. I'm not going to trade with that, obviously. So, he gets to hit us for free. It's fine. Um, I'm going to probably play Blighted Caretaker here. Onto Boisterous Host. This is a cool way to proc Hallowed early. We need to get Hallowed going now. We just got denied our Hallowed value from that other card, so this is what we got to do. He is going to stun our Tentacle, but that's fine. We can still get value from just attacking with a Lowey on the left. Should be good enough. And yeah, we kill two of his cannons unless he's got the one cost recall. We want to make sure she's on the left. I don't think we attack with C's voice. Actually, do we attack with C's voice? I don't think we do. We want to save Overwhelm for when we really need it, so we got to keep her alive. But this is this is not a terrible attack. This is pretty good. Alawi gets a free plus one from Hallowed. He retreats one of his cannons. That's fine. He can't even he can't even recall it or replay it for free with return. So that's good for us. Alawi is a little bit low, but that's fine. So next attack turn, we're gonna play Playful Trickster on whatever unit would die, either Alawi or Tentacles. We just need them to survive until next turn, and we're fine. Riptide Sermon. Is that worth playing this round? So he's going to get two... He's going to get one, two, three marks. He could stun one of us next turn. I'm going to pass here. Maybe I should have played Phantom Butler. I'll play Phantom Butler now, so he can trade with his 3-3. Three, three. He attacks. Then he plays another cannon after I play Answered Prayer. I want to get extra attack on this tentacle, so we it is important we um, play Answered Prayer now before he heals off the 1-1. One, one. This is a weird... This is a really weird play. So he's going to try to kill this as well. How is he going to do that? Dude, his board is... What? Eh? Wait, he has no board. I just win. He literally just gave me a free win. Unless he's got a stun. He has to have a stun now. He can't summon Kenan for what? You get out of life what you put in. You do get out of life what you put in. What did this guy put in? I don't freaking know, dude. What in the world did this guy put in to life? Hello? Eh? I'm so confused. Okay, one stun. So 
This would be the part where we just play this and laugh at his face. Yeah, my tentacle is stunned. Do I care? <laughs> no. I really don't. I really don't care at all. That's a pretty good card to have. I think that's better than Blood in the Water. I played Blood in the Water in this deck for a while. That's gotta be better. Stop breaking the wind, bro. That's mean. Why would you do that? The wind did not ask to be broken. Now, listen. He has to be able to stun a Lowy here if he wants to win. I will trade. I will happily trade with him these other two units because I've got Harrowing coming up on my next attack. 21 attack a Lowy is insane. <laughs> Why don't people just play a Lowy with Rally normally? Why is this? Why have I never seen this? I feel like this is a no-brainer for her. I guess you play her with um, Demacia, yeah, so that's probably your Rally. But no Bilgewater Rally. GG's. You know, you can only do so much. He's got three cannons in hand, but no stuns. It's unfortunate. He drew so lucky that it was unlucky. Okay. Uh, Evelyn Thresh. That's a pretty good combo. That's actually not terrible. It's just like Ben Thresh brings in another Evelyn once you've killed Husks. Not that great. I'm going to go for just a mega early game hand. Hopefully we get like one more Hallowed, like the 3-1. No? Okay. I'll end round here. I'm just going to play Strike Up the Band now. Better we play it on an attack turn or... I guess we'll play... Dang it, dude. No, we'll play it now. We'll play it now. We'll just play Phantom Butler and Boisterous Host next turn. And then attack with Mega Value. I don't know about Mega, but like a little bit of value. We'll have some value. There will be value. Don't worry. Go ahead. It's only fair. You get two after I got four. He's got to play something here. What are you playing, bro? <laughs> summon a husk and grant it plus one. Summon another husk and grant it plus one. And uh, he should not have a fearsome blocker, but he probably does have a vile feast. I would expect a vile feast here. If he wants to spend a vile feast on Phantom Butler, dude, like, go at it. Be my guest. I'm actually not going to attack with Boisterous Toast, though, because he's just going to trade with that. I don't want this. I don't want this dying yet. I want to save it for a chump blocker. Nice. He's down to 11. That's good. Why is he passing, though? Uh, I have to just drop a Lowy here. I'm a little suspicious of what he's doing, though. So I'm actually going to drop Zap instead, because I think we care less about Zap. I think a Lowy is more valuable to us. I'm, like, a little bit worried that he had some sort of weird kill card. He got double quick attack, by the way. How unlucky is that? That's unfortunate. Same exact husk twice in a row. Oh, quick attack thresh is not bad, though. Five, eight. I mean, he's dying this round, but like, geez, dude, if he wasn't dying this round, that would be tough to deal with. So obviously he's pulling in Zap. Now, listen, man. If you've got Mist's Call... What a gamer. Am I right? If he's got Mist's Call... Oh, really? Okay. I mean, that's... That's... It's fair. Um, triple Hallowed. We hit for five if he doesn't have a Drain spell. What are the odds he has a Drain spell here? I'm gonna go for it. Probably not great odds that he has a Drain spell. If he didn't already have one. Nice, he's down to six. Very good. Yeah, and now we just set up for an Alawi attack with a Tentacle, and, uh... I think we got it. I think we got the dub. Now, he could play, like, Ruination next turn. At that point, we just burst attack with I have Nagakaboros and we still win, so that's good. We're looking fine here. We're looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. Elusive. Impact. Wait, did he not have impact? This guy had impact, I think, and then he died. Okay, fair. He wasn't a husk, so that's why Spirit Leech does not have impact as well. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. This is really good, dude. I'd like to see him try and win. Honestly, I don't think he can pull it off. I'd be surprised if he somehow manages to pull it off. He doesn't have the board presence he needs to have. He doesn't even have a Ruination this turn, which I thought he would have. Probably just go with this. Spawn four. He wants to, like, kill that. That was actually, that was a bad, that was a really dumb play. That's actually, no, it's not a dumb play. Because no matter what, it still spawns the tentacle. It doesn't matter. He could, he could, like, drain it if he finally drew a drain card for the first time in the game, and it still wouldn't do anything. 
so yeah, we're fine. We have a chump blocker. She is elusive though, which is kind of annoying. He's gonna for ten. See what's inside. I think we're fine. Nine? Yeah, it's only half our health. Okay. Just... We're good. We're good, dude. We're fine. We're fine here. I do think we play at least one Eye of Nagakaburos on open attack here. Obviously, Tentacle on the left, Alawi on the right. One of them is going to get rallied. Is double rally better, though? I feel like it is. <laughs> it's got to be, right? This is way too powerful. Now, if he kills Alawi, I actually don't really have a way to hit lethal here. So we just need him not to have, like, a vengeance. Which he could have. He could very well have multiple ways to kill Alawi. And if he does, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. He's also got elusive, so like we can't win with a zap. Um, yeah, actually, if he if he kills Alawi, we lose. We just lose. Dang. I guess we're playing uh, Eye of Nagakaburos. Doesn't really matter if we play it now or later. I guess we're doing this. She dies, but then we have a rally on board. We make our tentacle thick, so he thinks he can block with something he cannot actually block with. Witness truth. That's it. Dang. Yeah, we just needed an atrocity. We probably need to run more atrocity with this deck. I really need atrocity. Atrocity should be like my main win con, to be completely honest. I guess I can force him to block with Evelyn and his elusive, so there is that. It's not over yet, but he's got another freaking elusive husk. How many elusive husks can one man find? This is ridiculous. So, he's blocking with both. He's not blocking with both. We could draw into an atrocity here and kill him. I was just worried because like all of our damage is going away, right? Actually, we still have nine. We could still find atrocity here, but we can't play it this turn. Elusive snap fine. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Okay, real funny, man. Hilarious. I'm laughing so hard right now. You see me laughing right here? I'm laughing. That's hilarious. I, I'm so amused by that. We actually survive with Withering Will. That's crazy. We actually are not dead. I love it when they scream. Wow. That's a clutch draw, dude. There's no way. Okay. I think the only way he could win now is with Atrocity. <laughs> so, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Mask Mother this tentacle. We're gonna spawn another tentacle. We're going to... Oh, now we just give it Overwhelm. Oh, now this is just the play. Never mind. Nagakaburos, that's our play. I love the way that she says that. It's just like, she's just like, getting out there, you know? Don't tell me you're stalling on me right now because you have a way to win. Okay. So we don't have... Okay, we don't have Overwhelm anymore. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe we shouldn't have dropped this first. Maybe we should have dropped Mask Mother first. I will... In her embrace. Play Mask Mother. All we need to do is deal three damage. This is like a puzzle. We can go wide. I think we still lose, but we'll see how this goes. Oh, this is this is this is really bad. No matter what I do, I can't rally this turn. Because my units just die to I could force him to trade off with Evelyn, I guess. This is tough. This is really tough. Um we can we can force him to trade off all his units as long as he doesn't have one more. We need him to not have one more unit. As long as he can't play one more this turn. We're okay. We can go wide. We attack with Tentacle on the left. Everything has three or more attack, which means everything deals lethal. And then he has to block all of them. But then, dude, then he just blocks the one that does the least damage. And he freaking wins. Because he has stupid... Oh, look at that. Fresh catch. Well, it was fresh. And he had one anyways. Okay, GG. It's, you know, it's, it is what it is. When it is what it is, it is what it is. We could top deck Atrocity, Copium. We could. 
I need I need way more atrocities in this deck. It's all in the, wrist, see? the freaking roller coaster of this game Fortunate is unbelievable. Stream luck. <laughs> only only stream luck could save me here. Now listen. This guy is so good at the game, I know he's going to have a way to counter it. But at least, I'm happy with this. At least we top decked Atrocity. The fact that we drew that... Oh, I guess we just win then. Okay, you yeah, know, that's good. Dream luck, I mean skills. Yeah. They're, they're like one and the same, basically. I think we're going to go... I think we're going to keep the whole hand, actually. This is a good hand. Because we can kill Kaisa with Black Spear. Atrocity is our win con. We've got a Burst Blocker. And we've got early game tentacles. This is like everything we need besides Hallowed. So if we just draw some Hallowed, I think we're good. Ain't no shadows in here, friend. I know a place. Didn't see a ton of the Kaisa Eve, but it did come up a few times. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't gotten matched into it, but just as far as like um, what other streamers are playing, like just looking out on Twitch, I've seen a lot of Kaisa Eve for some reason. It's a pre-built deck. Like, I don't know. It doesn't seem that fun to me. Um, I think Sea's Voice is the ah, obvious play here. Day for a beautiful day for sailing, indeed. He does not really have any great blocks. Are. So we're pretty safe to just attack. And we got another Sea's Voice. Challenger is annoying, though, because now he is going to pull in this and kill it next turn, probably. Oh, uh, no check deck redeem. I'll probably add one of those in the future once I start um, streaming more often. I've just got so many ideas for my own decks right now. I definitely wouldn't do like a I play your deck kind of redeem at the moment. Because I've got way too many deck ideas of my own. But maybe like look at your deck redeem. I could maybe see myself doing that in the future. Hallowed Bram. Bram. Bram? I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I've heard of Hallowed Bram. That one seems okay. That one doesn't seem that good to me. I don't know. Do I care about Challenger Evelyn here? Challenger Evelyn is kind of annoying. If he pulls in the tentacle, which I don't know why he would do that, we actually we actually kill him no matter what he pulls in. Evelyn dies, which is cool. Black Spear or I have Nagaburus will do it. I should just play this now. Like it doesn't really matter the order. And then we play Seize Voice and open attack again with a six attack tentacle, is that correct? No, five attack tentacle. Now, the question is, do we get greedy and do we play a Lowy here? I kind of want to play a Lowy, not going to lie. Oh. Hello. Poro jumpscare? Question mark? Dude, we could, we could open attack for some value. Or we could not open attack for a lot of value. It's probably better to do Phantom Butler and a two-cost answered prayer. I feel like that's the best attack to do. Braum is benched because he has zero power, but when he gets some, he becomes a threat. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he's already a powerhouse just for having the regen ability. Like, six health is huge. What is this? This is this is not fair. That's not cool, man. Who are you? What even is that? Yeah, I mean, he can't trade his elusive with my tentacle, so I see this as a pretty good play. He could trade the Elusive and the Poro with my Tentacle, which means he's not blocking either of the other guys. So, like, we're doing damage here no matter what. This is pretty good. He, he doesn't really have, like, a good play here either way. And we've got Atrocity on the way. So, uh, that was probably our best attack. But, yeah, uh, Braum is an interesting choice for Hallowed for sure. I feel like there are better choices. I've seen a lot of people doing Hallowed Pike, which seems probably more powerful. But Braum's not bad. I don't know. I, I, I won't knock it until I try it. I've never even gone up against it, so I don't really have a good idea of what that deck looks like besides literally just Braum and Hallowed units. Like, you'd probably figure out some other cool cards to run. Okay, so we got another Evelyn. That's extremely lucky. <laughs> this dude, he's high rolled. He has high rolled the heck out of this game. He still doesn't have lethal this turn. So I think if I just like atrocity now, I feel like that's the best play we could do. I'm just going to pass. We'll see what he does. And then we'll atrocity. That's the plan. I could kill Evelyn. I don't think that's better than just doing seven damage to his face, though. Like, he doesn't even have right of negation. If that deck runs right of negation, be nice. And he's, too <laughs> he's too scared to even go for it. I mean, he's down to four. Since he is healing two. Can we win here? 
I feel like we can, right? I mean, we don't have any hallowed buffs, which is rough. I could pass, actually. I just pass. I pass, and then I, I have Nagakaburos this turn, Atrocity next turn. That's our play. Very easy play. I actually, I don't even know why I almost considered atrocity this turn. We got no Hallowed this game, which is very unlikely, because we do have a decent amount. We have like a solid amount of Hallowed in this deck. I want to say at least 12 Hallowed cards. Hallowed Alawi? I know. We like to call it Halawi Rally, because it's like Hallowed Alawi Rally. It's also really cool if you can pull it off well, because you buff the tentacle, and the tentacle copies the Hallowed onto Alawi. So you're basically getting double. I want to play Atrocity now, but I can't play Atrocity now. But I can't pass. I could open attack. He can't kill me if I open attack. So I might as well just attack. Let him go crazy and just like play spells and spend his mana if he wants to. His Evelyn cannot kill me with his champ spell unless he buffs her with like a shaped stone. Which sometimes this deck does run. This deck is all over the place so it's hard to predict. But uh, we just go for this now. You know, if, if we don't win, then we don't win. Wait, we don't win! Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not? And he had run. Okay, um. I mean, our tentacle is still alive. I guess we could just draw another. Cross it. This is just awkward. Gonna make a meal of him. He could definitely kill us next turn, depending on whether or not he high rolls here. With like another elusive, maybe? Scream for me. Are you no elusive, that's good. We gotta go wide, I think. He's gonna pull this in with probably the 4-3. He actually is not threatening lethal, so I don't need to play anything. I pass. We do pass here. Why did Evelyn choose you exactly? Wow, lifesteal? This guy is crazy with it. I'm gonna kill that now, I think, right? Because he could give Evelyn lifesteal if he plays one more. Just to be safe, I feel like this is the best thing we could do now. Hallowed Brahm is interesting. I'll have to add that one to my list. I don't have that one on my deck list of uh, like upcoming decks to build. Um, I think we're just buffing our Tentacle, right? And going for an Overwhelm win next turn. He could have that one two mana like hate card or whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's what the full name is, but like two mana hate does two damage. Kill an ally to do two damage, summon a husk. He doesn't have it. So... We might win. I think we're going to do C's voice and then Alawi. Or maybe Alawi and then C's voice. Because then he's going to kill Alawi. Either they're, they're both good. They're both basically the same thing. I'll probably play Alawi first, though. Hopefully this is not a mistake. As long as he doesn't have, like, two ways to kill a unit, which he shouldn't even have at this mana, I think we win. He does have an elusive, which is like really lucky again, but uh, not quite gonna do it. We've got a, we've got a total of one hallowed buff, buff this game, which is hilarious. But hey, I don't know, man. That's a good attack. That do be a good attack. I think that's game. I think that's GG's. Halawi rally coming back again for the what? 4-0? I think that's 4-0, 5-0, maybe. I don't know. There it is. It works like magic. This is this was a really tough deck to build. I had to like change it up so much, but I think Atrocity is like our main win con. I wasn't sure if it was good and I kept like taking it out. This feels pretty solid.